Okay, I'm done. Here's the column chart you requested. It has the sales managers with the items sold for this week. Oh, cool. Thanks. But wait, where's the target line? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Uh, target quantity for this week was 280, right? Okay, so one second. We're going to get it for you. Where is that? Let me just add it in. I think it's... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's it. There you go. You didn't just do that. Is this how you've been creating our reports for the past weeks? Yeah, it's a bit of a pain, but I've gotten good at estimating the location, so don't worry. The ruler helps. Okay, so you picked the wrong thing to be good at. You can make that line dynamic and add it to your chart. Step aside, let me show you. Okay, so there are different ways of doing this, but I'm just going to show you the easiest way. First thing you're going to want to do is to transform this data into a table. So the moment we have more sales managers and more data, the chart is going to update automatically. So let's just go somewhere inside, press Control T, table has headers. I don't like this table design. Let's go and remove that design. Okay, so, so far so good. Now we are going to add a new column for target. This is going to equal this, press F4 to fix the referencing. And now we have our series added. Okay, so your line wasn't really straight, but your estimate was pretty good. Now, we obviously don't want these to be columns, so we're going to right mouse click, change series chart type. For target in the combo section here, let's switch it to line. There we go. We have our line. Click on OK, and we have our line dynamic. Okay, I'm going to remove your other line. The great thing about this is that it's automatic. If this changes to 150, it updates. If it's 300, it updates. I'll just put it back to 280. Now, actually, we can even improve this further. Let's press Control 1 to bring up the settings. Go to Line Options, and let's add an arrow here. I want to make it thicker, and the ending part should have that too. Now, this looks a lot better. Okay, we could also add the target directly to this. I'll add it to the first point. So I'm going to select to add data labels, but I don't want the data labels to show up everywhere. So I'm going to click again just to select the first one. Right mouse click, add data label. Now click, click to only select this one. Press Control 1 to bring up the settings. Or if you double click, it's going to come up. Scroll down, show it on the left hand side. That looks good. I actually want to make it bold and let's make it bigger. Okay, we don't need this either. Delete and take a look at this beauty. And yeah, if you don't want anyone to see this target series, you can just hide it or better, let's group it. I'll use the shortcut key, Shift, Alt and the right arrow key. Now we have this group together, but notice the line disappears. Don't worry, right mouse click, select data, Hidden and empty cells. We want to show data in hidden rows and columns. And our line is back. What? So next time, all I have to do is add the new numbers and everything updates automatically? Yeah, so I know it's hard to tell, but next time you find yourself doing weird stuff in Excel, just ask. I'm so happy with the automation. You have no idea. Look at this. I just paste the latest values in, update the target, and I'm done. Yeah, so higher ups want a bar chart instead. This column chart is getting too wide for them with all our new sales managers. So please switch to a bar and add that target line. The meeting's starting in like five minutes, so be quick. No problem. Let me just do it. I'm just quickly going to insert a bar chart. So let's just highlight. Where is my insert? Here create a bar that's it right here it was this one right that's my target line right mouse click change series chart type target i want a line oh that doesn't look right it's the wrong way around your technique isn't working let me just draw it what no no okay okay um bar charts are tricky with the second series we just have like two minutes left. Time for a hack. Just move it. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Delete this chart. Let's just move this 
to the side. Now I'm going to highlight the cells the chart is sitting on. Press Ctrl C, go to the side here, Home, Paste, and paste this as a linked picture. So not picture, but a linked picture. This way it's a live picture. So let's just turn this around. And now we are getting a bar chart, but it's not the way it should look. But no worries, we're going to make the adjustments here. So first of all, it should be a lot thinner, right? So that looks better. We should bring the bars closer, select them in our original chart, press Ctrl 1. For gap width, let's go with 40%. Now, this is starting to look great, but we want to turn these around. So let's select the labels. Under alignment for text direction, change it to rotate text to 270. Now this looks good. We're also going to rotate this one. I tend to click on this, but we have to do it here. Select it. Let's go ahead and rotate it to 70. That looks good. The same for the data labels, rotate to 270. We have our dynamic bar chart created and check this out. If target changes to 200, this updates 320, it updates. Everything is dynamic, but we have a bar chart with a target line. Okay, I'm late, I gotta run. Just save this on the drive, please. What just happened? I wish I could rewind that.